The Foca Agelis, FA-223, Drasha, or Dragon, was the first production helicopter in aviation history, hitting 113 miles per hour at an altitude of 23,300 feet. Towards the close of World War II, the Luftwaffe ordered 400 Foca Agelis FA-223. However, owing to Allied bombardment, only 20 models were manufactured. Each Allied power was keen to learn about the Drasche's distinctive design, which included a single radial engine and dual three-bladed rotors. After capturing two surviving versions, America returned one to the US, while Britain desired it and dispatched a German POW pilot to fly it over the English Channel. The Nazis forced the removal of aviation pioneer Heinrich Focke from his firm owing to his unreliability. In 1936, the RLM reorganized the firm as a limited-run corporation and transitioned it into constructing the Messerschmitt BF-109. American International Telephone and Telegraph Company purchased a 28% stake in Focke Wolf. The FW-61 prototype, the world's first practical helicopter, demanding design capable of hauling over 1,500 pounds, pleased the RLM. The FW-61, designed by Focke Aggelis and Gerd Aggelis, was ordered by Luftwaffe in 1938. The FA-223 was a continuation of the FA-226 Hornisse and the FW-61. The FA-226 Hornisse was the world's first functional transport helicopter, but it required more development before it could be used in combat. A military version of the FA-223 was produced after 100 hours of ground testing. It had counter-spinning rotors on the outriggers and a radial engine contained in the fuselage. Just as the FW-61. The first flight of the FA-223 was in August 1940, with a multi-panel enclosure with flat plexiglass in the front region. The Foca Gelis helicopter, powered by a 1000 horsepower Brahmo 323 radial engine, deviated from Lufthansa's initial cargo helicopter mission. Despite slight instability during production trials, the helicopter's maneuverability and handling were superb. After satisfactory acceptance testing in 1942, RLM ordered 100 additional models. The second prototype was finished in July 1942, but 10 Draca were lost due to bombing strikes, hindering manufacturing and leading the Allies to destroy components. After more than 100 hours of ground untethered testing, the Draca V1 helicopter took to the skies for the first time on August 3rd. 1940. At Recklin, it achieved a high speed of 130 miles per hour and a climb rate of 1732 feet per minute, reaching a maximum altitude of 23,000 feet. It was not, however, suitable for military duty, triggering an initial production order of more than 100 choppers. The V1 was lost in February 1941 owing to engine failure at low altitude, which prevented landing autorotation. The V2 was a German-designed multifunctional plane with a glass cockpit and machine gun station. During an airstrike, it was destroyed. The F3 was built as Germany's only multi-purpose plane, designated FA-223E and included features from earlier variants like as dual controls and an electric winch. The V3 featured a welded steel tubing body wrapped in fabric, which reduced weight and made repairs easier. The cockpit, cargo, engine and tail were all separated in the final form. The engine was a 1000 horsepower BMW Brahmo 323Q3 Fafner with a supercharger and cooling fan. The helicopter featured a gearbox and two rings that were held together by cables. A helicopter's engine compartment was secured by struts and a fireproof wall with a 20 cm gap between it and the cargo compartment. For fresh air intake, the space was filled with wire mesh. Exhaust was fed via the roof. 
Power was delivered into the rotor headgears through a friction plate, cluts, and hollow shafts. The rotors rotated at a constant speed of 275 revolutions per minute and were supported by steel tube outriggers. A freewheel arrangement permitted the rotors to spin even when the driving gearbox was clogged. The Draca helicopter was built for anti-submarine, reconnaissance, transport, search and rescue, and pilot training missions. It needed a FUG-17 radio, altimeter, nose-mounted M15 machine gun, and an observer seat. For anti-submarine and reconnaissance missions, additional equipment included a rescue cradle, reconnaissance camera, and detachable fuel tank. The helicopter could carry fuselage racks for two 50kg bombs for undersea warfare, as well as an independent load carrying beam capable of towing up to 1280kg via cable. RLM purchased 30 pre-production Dracas, which were built in Bremen, with a bigger four-motor version requested in 1943. However, this project was never completed. The Draca was capable of self-centering and spinning 360 degrees, and its performance was tested with RLM's order of 30 pre-production Dracas. In 1942, construction of the FA 223 began at Delmenhorst, but two prototypes and the first seven helicopters were destroyed by an Allied airstrike. The V-11 was the first Draca constructed when a new facility was created in Laupheim in 1943. Pilot Carl Bode used the V-11 for instructional videos, moving plane fuselages and lifting Fiesler Stork aircraft using the winch and fast-release electrical cargo hook. The V-11 was deployed in 1944 to rescue a Dornier Doe 217 that had crashed in the Vayner Moor, but had crashed during recovery. The V-14 Draca helicopter was dispatched to retrieve parts. Bode or Gerstenhauer piloted the V-11 and V-14 Draca helicopters on 10 missions. The Germans salvaged components of two wreckages and re-evaluated the helicopter's ability to transport people in difficult areas. The V-14 and V-16 were transported to Mittenwald for additional testing each with 83 flights. By June 1944, just seven rotorcraft had been manufactured at the new site when it was destroyed by another airstrike. Models were returned to Fokker headquarters, and after a brief spell at Messerschmitt, manufacture was started at Berlin Tempelhof Airport. They were supposed to create 400 Drucken every month, but only built one. Only three operational helicopters remained by V-Day. The V-12 flew across Germany to rescue 17 people stuck on a mountain, but was destroyed when a mechanical connection failure shredded the rotor and flung the chopper into an embankment. Two Draca helicopters survived World War II, with one nearly destroyed by the United States owing to a shortage of transporting capacity. The United States maintained one model, which was disassembled and delivered to Wright Field for investigation in 1947. The helicopters vanished without a trace. Britain kept the other model, which was entrusted to Helmut Gerstenhauer, who flew the Draca across the English Channel. The helicopter crashed during its third test flight in England. France and Czechoslovakia developed their own Dracas out of captured components in the late 1940s with three completed by the end of World War II. The SNCA, created with Heinrich Focke's aid, took to the skies for the first time on October 23, 1948, in France. The other two, named VR-1, were built in Czechoslovakia. The German proposal to build a fleet of four rotor choppers from two United Draca helicopters had failed before the end of the war. Thank you for watching my video. If you like it, consider subscribing. You may also find more German aircraft videos on my channel.